Welcome to another Eco Sports edition of Eco Penny. This time I'm going to try to get to the summit of Cradle Mountain in Tasmania. So I'm at the Visitor Centre car park for Cradle Mountain. So a good environmental thing for Cradle Mountain. You basically park your car here and your park entry includes a shuttle bus that goes either up all the way to Dove Lake or part of the way. So that way you haven't got all cars driving up and down the mountain creating pollution. The road's quite narrow and tricky and dangerous. So it's a lot more environmentally friendly and nicer to be at Dove Lake and not have cars left, right and centre everywhere like a lot of tourist places. So it's a good thing National Parks have done down here in Cradle Mountain, Tasmania. So I'm at Ronnie Creek. This is the start of the overland track. I won't be doing the whole thing. I'll just be going up to the summit if I can. Then the overland track continues past the summit to Lake St. Clair. So it's a bit of mist up ahead. Hopefully it clears this afternoon. We'll see how we go. So this first part of the overland track is quite pretty. You've got an easy boardwalk or nice gravel, pretty looking pathways, easy to follow. So the national parks in Tasmania have a policy, you've got to stick to the trails. You can't just wander off into the bush because it's a World Heritage Protected Area. You'll do a lot of damage just walking through the bush. So you've got to stick to the trails. And so far there's nice signage, so I'm following the overland track. Oh, it's just beautiful here, nice rainforest areas, nice waterfalls. I better keep moving though if I'm going to get to that summit. So that's Ronnie Creek in the distance area I started from. Come up this high already. This is a cute little boat shed here. This is Crater Lake. Mist is clearing a little bit. Hopefully by the time I get to the summit it's even more clearer. So this little bit of misty cloudy weather. It's actually nice for walking. It's quite cool. It'd be much harder doing this if it was really hot and boiling hot sunshine. It feels nice and serene at the moment. There's a few walkers around. Probably about 15 on the first bus. But overall nice and peaceful. Pretty much got the track to myself. No matter where you look, the scening is just stunning here. Just beautiful. According to the sign there, we've got about 20 minutes to get to Marion and look out. Someone's being funny here. It's actually Wombat Pool, as in a body of water. Not poo, as in excrement. Yikes, I made the mistake of looking up. Looks like Marion's lookout. Way up there. There's beautiful Crater Lake behind me. It's getting serious now, there's some chains to pull yourself up. So this walk's not for the faint-hearted. It's getting steep here. I was hoping this was it, but according to the sign I've got another 10 minutes to go. Oh, it's hard work. You can see a tiny bit of sunlight there in the very top in front of me. Hopefully it gets sunnier as the day goes on. But you never know in Tassie. So I've got a raincoat, and a down jacket waterproof gloves, everything, just in case. Oh, thank goodness for that, made it to Marion's lookout. Nice view of Dove Lake here, and it's our other car park way down there. I've made it to Kitchen Hut now. I think it's time to get out of the weather and have a bit of morning tea. This one's a double story sort of hut. It's for emergency shelter only, so you can't sleep in here overnight. So if the snow does come up to this level, you can use a top door. Let's check it out. Nice little table there. 
nice benches. Nice little top deck here. from out here but it's still quite misty. It's a nice spot here for some morning tea. Oh, it's good to know there's a toilet up near next to kitchen hut. It's getting a bit of a mental game at the moment. It's just mentally tough being careful climbing on rocks and finding each pole. The pole's just up there. I'm trying to work out the easiest way to get to it. I'm being very careful. Rocks could be slippery or they could move. <coughs> Trying to have three points of contact. Two feet and a hand or two hands and one foot. Just for that extra bit of security. Don't want to lose the balance and go splat down the bottom. Won't be very pretty. It looks pretty imposing up ahead. It's getting steeper and steeper. All I'm doing is following the poles. I think it's actually worse to look up because yeah, have a look where you've got to go. It's like, oh no, it's nearly vertical. I don't know how this comes out on the camera, but it's nearly vertical. Don't know whether to laugh or cry. I'll just keep going slowly, pole after pole, getting closer and closer. Oh, just been told it's just over here. Oh. Yeah. <sighs> Made it. Yeah. <laughs> Made it to the top of Cradle Mountain. Yay! Oh, I can't believe that finally made it to the top of Cradle Mountain. Unfortunately, there's not much of a view, but it's good to just make it to the top. View's clearing a bit, can see all the little lakes down there. I think that's the best I'm going to get today. It's just exhilarating getting to the top. Probably give myself another five minutes, then got to have the hard climb all the way down again. I reckon it'd be harder than going up. Just can't see where your feet are going. I'm a little bit disappointed there's not much of a view. But at least the weather's reasonable. Cold but not raining or windy. And I've made it to the top. That's my, that's my goal. See you guys. Bye. Enjoy? Enjoy the way down. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I think so. It's incredible. I can't believe I just went up there up to the summit and back down here <laughs> and I still got to go back up a few more rocks I've just added my mark here it's not one of the official poles that are white so I thought I'd add it to these stickers coming up to the summit this morning I couldn't see any of these rocks it was all misty at least I can see them now it's almost Kitchen hut there. That's where I stop for morning tea, so it's not that much. It's just beautiful short little grass. Almost looks like a golf course. This is why they put in a lot of the other boardwalks to stop stop you going through mud which is a bit unpleasant. Plus it damages the environment a bit too. Causes erosion and things. So this right turn here is the continuation of the overland track. Goes for four to five days to Lake Sinclair. But I'm going to do the face track. So do a different way on the way back. So mist is coming back in. Glad I finished the summit. So after doing the Cradle Mountain summit, this is basically like a highway now. A lot easier than doing like rock boulder scrambling. It's another view of Dove Lake there, and there's Honeymoon Island 
towards the end of it there. So this face track has still got poles to navigate, but a lot of it is sort of unmarked. It's not a gravel track the whole way. So you just gotta be a bit more careful. There's a few little wooden bridges and things. But it's not a clearly defined track like some of the others are. So this is why they call it the face track, because you're literally walking along the face of the mountain, traversing across. So I'm going to turn left on the Lake Wilkes track. So yeah, that little one's Lake Wilkes, you can see through those bushes. Dove Lake of course to the right. The other walk goes all the way along that ridge over there and down to the car park which is dead ahead at the end of Dove Lake there but this Lake Wilkes will be a bit quicker I think so I'm going to take that way looking forward to getting to the nice warm cabin taking my boots off and putting my feet up it's going to be fun going down these chains just got to be careful A little jog down the stairs here. So it's a beautiful rainforest area here. It's still a bit tricky of tree roots and obstacles, but it just looks so beautiful. It's decision time now. Do I go left or right? So I'm just here at the uh, lake. Left is a quicker way to the car park. Right goes the long way. I think I'll take the quicker way. I'll go left. It's been a long day doing the summit and I'm a bit tired. Oh, the walk's getting a bit easier now. A bit more boardwalk. My legs are getting tired from that cradle mountain summit. I need a well earned break for five minutes. I can't believe just this morning, I was all the way up there at the top of Cradle Finally made it to the Dove Lake car park. I can relax now and get the shuttle bus back to the visitor centre. It's been a long day, at least 17 k's. I think the tracker wasn't working on some parts, but definitely a good workout and I made it to the summit, which is excellent. I'm so happy with that. It's a nice map of the park. Accommodation at Highlanders is down here and the visitor centre. So I got the bus up to Ronnie Creek in the morning. Went up here, the overland track, all the way up past Crater Lake to Marion's Lookout. Went over here, turned left at Kitchen Hut for morning tea, and all the way up. And this is a crazy steep bit of all the rock boulders up the summit track to the summit of Cradle Mountain. And all the way back down here, lunch at Kitchen's Hut, across the face track, down the Lake Willis track to Dove Lake, turn left here, and past the boat shed, back at Dove Lake car park. So a theme after two, that one. <laughs>